Hello everybody! Welcome to Portal 2. I'm very excited about this. Uh, this is probably one of the my favorite games I've ever played, so... Uh, yeah, let's jump right on into it. Uh, also, Backseat Gamer is enabled today, so... When, <laughs> when Nightbot spams about Backseat Gamer, it's actually because it's enabled, not because I forgot to disable it. Uh, yeah, so I'll send the link out in just a second to that when we actually get into the game and you can actually start messing with stuff. Uh, and of course at the end we'll do... Oh actually that's a, that's a good idea, I should have added a command like that. Uh, <laughs> no, I usually go by uh, exclamation point misery. <laughs> but anyways, we'll get into that in a little bit. When we actually you know get into the game, uh, pass the tutorial and all that. But yeah, I'm really excited. And uh, of course at the end we'll see if you guys can crash the game. Which I have high confidence because you seem to be very good at doing that. So, new game. Start from the beginning. Oh, I'm excited. Oh yeah, yeah, it is quite the list. <laughs> yeah. So, I have a feeling this may not work completely as expected because this is using a new experimental version of the command system, so... Good morning. Yeah, anyways, let's enjoy. Melch has redeemed in compliance with state oh. and federal regulations. All testing candidates in the Aperture Science Extended. We'll, uh, we'll get to those in a minute. Must be revived periodically for a mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look up at the ceiling. I'm doing it right. Am I doing it right? This way? No. No. This way. Oh, hey, there's the cube. <laughs> nice. There's the companion cube. Or not the companion cube, but anyways. When you hear the buzzer, look down at the floor. <laughs> Good. This completes the gymnastic portion of your <laughs> physical and mental wellness Melch has exercise. Ball. Oh, well, I think that's there fun outside the level. <laughs> Please go stand in front of it. This is art. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, stare at the art. May I stare at it? You should now feel mentally reinvigorated. <laughs> suspect staring at art has not provided the required intellectual sustenance. Reflect briefly on this classical music. Melch has redeemed fire. Good. Oh! Please return to your bed. <laughs> You're blown off the place already. Nice. I'm excited to see that. Good morning. <laughs> I'm glad you enjoy it. Hello? Well, that's probably spot outside level. Oh, is it here? Ah, Wheatley. I'm absolutely sure you're fine. There's plenty of time for you to recover. Just take it. Please prepare for emergency evacuation. Stay calm. Stay Nice. It's probably spot outside level. It spawns wherever I'm looking, so if I'm kind of looking way out here, it might actually spawn behind the wall. But yeah. Ooh. You all right down there? Can you hear me? Hello? <laughs> Most test subjects do experience some uh, cognitive deterioration after a few months in suspension. Now, you've been under for quite a lot longer, and it's not out of the question that you might have a very minor case of serious brain damage. <laughs> Oh no. Try to hold on to that feeling because that is Oh, what happened? Do you understand what I'm saying? Ah. Does any of it make any sense? Just tell me, just say yes. <laughs> but you got to put it back in first person. This is so weird. Well, I can see what's that level. This is funny. Yeah, I think uh Oh, that didn't quite work. There we go. <laughs> The, that for sure might work a little bit later on when we get past this section. Okay, what you're doing there is jumping. Uh, you just you just jumped, but never mind. Favorite part of the game. Apple. Okay, you know what? That's close enough. Just hold tight. <laughs> All reactor core that was scary. Yeah. Please prepare for reactor core meltdown. Okay, look, I wasn't going to mention this to you, but I'm in pretty hot water here. <laughs> How are you doing down there? At a point? The reserve power ran out, 
So of course the whole relaxation center stops waking up the bloody test subjects. Ooh, this is... Uh, this is a bit tricky. All right, I'll tell you what. When we get actually, when we actually get into the level, I'll give you a bunch of points. Tell me anything. Uh, if you think things should be cheaper, just let me know. I can quickly do that. Of the ten thousand bloody test subjects I'm supposed to be in charge of. Why? It's close. Can you see? Am I gonna make it through? But I'll have space. Just, just gotta get through here. Okay, I just gotta concentrate. And whose fault do you think it's gonna be when the management comes down here and finds ten thousand flipping vegetables? Right. That's true. Yeah, you could, uh, you really have the ability to soft block me here, so. Okay, listen, we should get our story straight, alright? If anyone asks, and no one's gonna ask, don't worry, but if anyone asks, tell them as far as you know, the last time you checked, everyone looked pretty much alive. <laughs> alright? Not dead. Okay, almost there. On the other side of that wall is one of the old testing tracks. There's a piece of equipment in there that we're gonna need to get out of here. I, I think this is a docking station. Get ready. Good news. That is not a docking station. <laughs> One mystery solved. Uh, I'm going to attempt a manual override on this wall. Could get a bit technical. Hold on. <laughs> manual override crashes head first into it. Almost I love this game. Remember, you're looking for a gun that makes holes. Not bullet holes. But don't worry, you'll figure it out. Seriously, do hold on this time. <laughs> oh, there we go. Now, I'll be honest, you are probably not. Hello, and again, welcome to the Aperture Science Enrichment Center. We are currently experiencing technical difficulties due to circumstances of potentially apocalyptic significance beyond our control. However, thanks to emergency testing protocols, testing can continue. These pre-recorded messages will provide instructional and motivational support so that science can still be done, even in the event of environmental, social, economic, or structural collapse. The portal will open, and emergency testing will begin in 3, 2, 1. Oh good, we have our toilet and our radio here, so let's go do still. <laughs> Alright, I guess we're going to pop through the level. Um, I'll give you your points as promised. Uh, let's see here. There. Yeah, if you want more points, just ask for them. I'm happy to throw them out. Cube and button based testing remains an important tool for science, even in a dire emergency. If cube and button based testing caused this emergency, don't worry. The odds of this happening are. No, 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 no! <laughs> Good thing I had that emergency cube to protect me. So let's see, can we use the turret instead? No, I think it has to be a button. Or a, a cube. <laughs> oh, well, let's, uh... Please note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This aperture science material emancipation grill will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through. Melch has redeemed cube. Oh, well. There it is. Bye. <laughs> Glad to see the system is working out, though. I'm very happy to see that. <laughs> if you feel liquid running down your neck, relax, lie on your back, and apply immediate pressure to your temples. You are simply experiencing a rare reaction in which the material emancipation grill may have emancipated the ear tubes inside your head. I love how, they, how much they downplay everything in this game. It's it's great. It's fantastic. <laughs> oh, yeah, got it in time. <laughs> Melch has redeemed portal gun. Oh, uh, one moment. Sometimes it messes up. Does that work? Huh. Didn't appear to give me the portal gun. Um, but uh, that's okay. <laughs> I know it, it's only a prop anyway, that, that particular portal gun, so it wouldn't be able to uh, 
give me the actual access to it just yet, I don't think. But, uh, yeah, it's weird that didn't spawn. We are currently experiencing. Your test environment is unsupervised. Before re-entering a relaxation vault at the conclusion of test Melch has testing, redeemed third person. Please take a moment no. to the results of your test. An aperture science reintegration associate will revive you for an interview when society has been rebuilt. <laughs> what have you done? <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. This is going to make the game much more challenging to do it in third person. If the Earth is currently oh. governed by a manner of animal king, sentient cloud, or other governing body that either refuses to or is incapable of listening to us. <laughs> third person bandit, are you? All right. <laughs> I don't know if Portal was meant to be played in third person. <laughs> but anyways. Hey, you made it. There should be a, a portal device on that podium over there. I can't see it. Oh, this doesn't look good. Melch has redeemed our friend Wheatley. Hey, there's Wheatley. How's it going, buddy? In the portal gun. <laughs> Are you alive? In, that's important. Melch has redeemed third person. Oh. There we go. I'm going to work on the assumption that you're still alive, and I'm just going to wait for you up ahead. Oh. This is pretty much picked Wheatley up. Then I'll come back, and assuming I can locate your dead body. I'll bury you. All right, brilliant. Go team. It's probably fine. Oh. Oh, it's gonna be very difficult. <laughs> There's our friend Wheatley. Yeah, that's true. Bandit did uh, did request third person, so. <laughs> yep. I think I can actually like look through the walls. Oh, that's oh, that's very bright. That's not what I was expecting at all. Some emergency testing may require prolonged interaction with lethal military androids. Rest assured that all lethal military androids have been taught to read and provided with one copy of the laws of robots to share. <laughs> Such a goofy game. I love it. <laughs> it's so hard to aim. Oh. Android has not respected your rights as detailed in the laws of robotics. Please note it on your self-reporting form. A future Aperture Science Entitlement Associate will initiate the appropriate grievance filing paperwork. <laughs> so the thing about this robot is you step through this and it tries to fire a laser gun at you. <laughs> Which is kind of funny. What's happening? I think he's no, trying to get a free kick. Door. Oh, yeah. So now there's this uh, random ghost door that's <laughs> here. <laughs> that's fun. <laughs> and I forgot how much I love this game. Oh, good. First person again. I can actually play. <laughs> this next test is very. Melch has redeemed lazy rocket. Oops. Uh, to help you remain tranquil in the face of almost certain death. Smooth. One moment. Uh, there we go. Jazz will be deployed in three, two, one. <laughs> and of course, we have to walk through the laser because it wants to shoot for no reason. There we go. Ivory has redeemed error. Oh hey, welcome Avery. And yeah, there's a there's a floating error now here forever. <laughs> Yay! But yeah, welcome. How? Uh, yeah, this is an experiment. Works on my machine. <laughs> oh yeah, it's one of those uh, derpy <laughs> turrets. Anyways, yeah. So this is a kind of a like test of this new system I've been working on, which allows us to mod even more games with less effort. Oh. Fine. Oh yeah, yeah, it's pretty big. And uh, there's even more commands I could have added, but uh, I just, I guess I didn't. But yeah, one of Melch's favorite commands is to put me in third person, which makes the game ten times harder. Because I can't see where I'm aiming. That's okay. Um, oh, I think you just do this. <laughs> Ivory has redeemed potatoes. Oh. Um. 
Sorry, sometimes it doesn't quite work out. Oops, did that work? Huh, that's strange. Ha, <laughs> welcome, Terminate. Uh, yeah, you can just back to Gamer if you want at, uh, points. Misery to make my experience so much better, like Melch has put me in third person, which makes this game very difficult. Uh, but yeah, yeah, it's just simulating. Oh, hey, look, we have two cubes now. <laughs> but yeah, it's just simulating the keystrokes, which is cool. Any observations related to your performance are speculation on our part. Please disregard any undeserved compliments. Nate has redeemed shake. <laughs> what was that one? Shake. Oh, shake didn't work. One went. There we go. Oops. Ivory has redeemed boom. Okay, shake doesn't seem to be working. Um. Aardvark has redeemed Frank and Turret. Oh, there we go. That one works. Sometimes it don't always work, but uh, I got Frank and Turret working. Use the gravity gun. I don't think that's a uh, wrong game there. <laughs> oh yes, we can go. Oh yes. All right. Oh, well, this is fun. We can just pop in here for a little bit. Nice to take a break. Melch has redeemed glass ball. Oh, great. And the gla glass ball broke. <laughs> do I have Gmod? Yes, I do. Yeah. That's a fun game. There. There's our glass ball. Oh, man. There it goes. Great. All right. Off we go. Marsha Mello has redeemed Lazy Rocket. That's a great idea. Uh, I will definitely look into that because that would be really funny. Uh, and the lazy rocket did not quite work, but uh, I will fix that. There we go. And now it's a rocket that just kind of. It is currently being bombarded with fireballs, meteorites, or other objects from space. Please avoid unsheltered testing areas wherever a lack of shelter from space debris does not appear to be a deliberate part of the test. There's a rocket. If we touch it, we blow up. Marsha Mello has redeemed Disappointing Rocket Turret. Ivory has redeemed Companion Cube. Okay, so it did the Disappointing Rocket Turret. Uh, companion Cube. There, oops. Ah, I think I spawned it in the elevator shaft. There we go. Let's take you. Okay, well, I can't really take it. <laughs> there we go. Companion Cube, you're coming with me. Oh, never mind. But yeah, we'll definitely look into that because that could be really funny. Obnoxious object. <laughs> oh yes, there it is. Melch has redeemed boom. Ivory has redeemed laser beam. <laughs> oh good. More things I have to worry about. Um, it's there. This goes here. Let's to jump over the laser so I don't die. Marsha Mello has redeemed glass ball. Oh good. And that broke. Uh, what does this one do? Oh. I see. Oh, I remember this challenge. Jeffers in Canada, I <laughs> wish I could. Let's see, let's let's catch up on the bandit. Uh so it's in the UK today, but going to US for the weekend. Nice. Jeff in Canada. What if we could? What day is it today? Today is the day. Thanks, Bandit. <laughs> Why can't you visit Canada? I'm not a citizen. <laughs> the wise words of Bandit. <laughs> I think you're supposed to catch it, actually. There we go. Oh, good. Now that's a thing that's hanging out there. Oh, no! So I'm stuck. <laughs> Great. All right. Mello has redeemed portal gun. Oh. Uh. Melch has redeemed turret. Sentry mode activated. All right. Um, could someone please use boom real quick? I kind of stuck and hoping it would knock me out of place. Today is the day. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. Sounds like that. Boom. Ah. There we go. Oh, not quite. Yeah, but it sounds like it would be something you know on, on that like somebody would put that on their like office or something like that. You know, it's one of those, like, uh, I'm sure you've seen them. They're those 
posters with the black border with that nice picture and that motivational quote. <laughs> exactly, motivational posters. That's what we'll do. After t-shirts, we'll get into motivational posters from Bandit. Let's see. Yeah, I'm stuck. Um, hmm. I hope this works. Oh. <laughs> oh, I guess that... He has redeemed security camera. <laughs> Good security camera. Huh. I didn't think that this would actually have any effect. That's funny. I guess now that's a thing. Has redeemed ghost door. Uh, one sec. There we go. Oh, I see. Perfect. What the heck? Yeah, it's almost like the game wasn't designed to be modded like this. <laughs> but that's okay. Well done. Melch has redeemed Q. The Hedgeman Center reminds you that although... Uh, there we go. Circumstances may appear bleak. You are not alone. All oh. personality constructs will remain functional in apocalyptic, low-power environments of as few as 1.1 volts. <laughs> the obnoxious object. Exactly. <laughs> not so obnoxious now, is it? <laughs> But yeah, let me know if you're running low on points, so I'll give you some more. This next test applies the principles of momentum to movement through portals. If the laws of physics no longer apply in the future, God help you. <laughs> Take that. Whoop. Oh, I forgot to get a cube. <laughs> Could someone uh, be a bro and spawn me a cube? <laughs> no, that's all right. If you are a non-employee who has discovered this facility amid the ruins of civilization, welcome. And remember, testing is the future, and the future starts with you. <laughs> I love the commentary in this game. It just it's, it just adds a whole other level of amazingness to an already perfect game. Melch has redeemed obnoxious object. Oh, good. That's gonna be helpful. See, I think we can put this here. And then by jumping into this portal. Oh, I think we lost the cube. That's too bad. Means we'll just have to try again. Uh, you should do the trick. Nice. Glad it's a cube, not a sphere. That would make things very difficult. Uh, there we go. Ivory has redeemed our friend Weedley. Oh. Good work getting this far, future. Starter. There we go. There's Weedley. If you are simple-minded, old, or irradiated in such a way that the future should not start with you. Please return to your primitive tribe and send back someone better qualified for testing. <laughs> Come on, Wheatley, we're going together. <laughs> but yeah, at the end of the stream, I'll make everything free and we'll see if we can crash the game. Safety devices have been disabled. The Enrichment Center respects your right to have questions or concerns about this policy. <laughs> Not familiar with Wheatley? That's okay. You did find a portal gun! Oh, the, do you know what? It just goes to show, people with brain damage are the real heroes in the end, aren't they, at the end of the day? Brave. Pop a portal on that wall behind me there, and I'll meet you on the other side of the room. You got it, Wheatley. <laughs> okay, listen, let me lay something on you here. It's pretty heavy. They told me never, never, ever to disengage myself from my management rail, Melch has redeemed or our I would Wheatley. die. But we're out of options. 
Hard mark has been changed. So there we go. Need to catch me. All right, on the 